Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in XML that is the structure of XML. So here, the XML document will be in a tree structure. That means it will follow the tree structure. So if you come with the tree structure, there will be one a root element one root element and there will be different sub elements sub elements so it will form a tree structure and it will be having both the expand option or collapse collapse option so that means the data will be represented in a tree structure, right? So we, after displaying the content uh, of XML, XML, so we'll be having the options expand and collapse. So I'll show it uh, by executing a small uh, program. And uh, so the structure will be like this. So root and as we discussed in our previous session, so XML will be uh, defined with a user defined tags. So the tax will be defined by the user itself, right? So root sub element sub element, right? So for every tag, if you open the tag, definitely we have to close the tag. And again, sub element. Sub element, right? And close the root tag. So the structure will be in this format, and here you will be finding plus and minus. So if you use a plus, right? So this will be collapsed, and if you use a minus, it will be expanded, right? So that I will show you on the screen. Now let me explain about one example with, a, with respect to one example. So if you want to give the student details, right? So if you want to give the student details, if you want to represent the student data in XML, so then see student data. So let it be the college will be the root element. So within the college, we have to write the student details. And here I will go with the student. So this is one. Let it be student one. Okay. So here I will go with the name name so in that again first name and write on the name here some a b c close the tag close the tag first name and again in the name itself there is a one more sub element called last name last name and here some d e f and close the last name and this ends the name tag and after that let us write out uh, about the branch so here give the branch some c s e close the branch branch and go with the address in the address the house number some one two three and close the house number street some m n o street city some PQR city and close the address and after that close the student after that close the college right so 
this is a format how the data will be represented in an XML document. So here the college will be the root root element and the student one student one will be the sub element. So there will be a multiple sub elements, right? So here if you observe student one, so we can call this college as a parent element and student one and if you go with the student two etc etc all this will be the siblings because these elements are sub elements of college right these student one student two student three and so on all are the sub elements of same parent so that's why we call it as a siblings and here you can observe name is a sub element of a student so name branch address so all these are the siblings because all are the sub elements of student one right and similarly first name and last name these are the siblings of name and similarly house number street and city all these three comes under address right so like that in a hierarchical fashion the data will be represented in the XML. So everything, so here everything will be represented with an expansion and a collapse. That means we can visit, we can see the data, we can uh, hide the data by using the collapse option. So I will show you, so by executing a small program so that you will be understanding that one. Right. So hope you understood. This is a root or we call it as a parent and siblings. So we can simply use it as a, a root element and here a chain one. child 1, child 2, and root. So we can write it in the syntax in different way, but one thing, the data should be represented in a hierarchical fashion, in a tree format, right? So we'll move on to the other system and I'll show you how the data is represented. We'll execute uh, the same code. We'll write the same code and I'll show you, right? So let's move on to the computer friends so just now we have seen about the structure of xml so i'll execute the same program and i'll show you the how the data will be displayed in the xml document so first we can declare the xml so there's an optional as we discussed so i'll i'll declare the xml xml some version is equal to i'll go with a 1.0 and I'm not writing any encoding formats and any standalones. So in that, I'll go with the root element as we discussed college. And in that, the student one, I'm writing the student one, student one. And inside the student, so what's the first one? It's a name. So the name of the student, let it be uh, inside the student name. Let it be first name, some ABC and uh, close that one first name and uh, second name or last name sorry last name some def last name and close the name so these two first name and last name will be the children of name so those two are, we call it as a siblings of name tag and i'll go with the branch so branch is some CSE branch and again uh, uh, address inside the address we can go with the house number some one two three so which is a house number and a street some M N O street and uh, finally the city so pqr and close the address so after closing the address so we have to close the student one and college right so i am saving this file with a structure dot xml 
so you can observe the structure of XML oh sorry uh, error on line 1 at a column 10 yes so in the declaration we have to close in this way we'll execute yes you can see so this is a structured format so whatever the uh, data we have displayed here so that is in a structured hierarchical fashion and as we discussed just now there will be an option called expand and collapse so you can observe this is the one sub element okay so here you can observe the arrow mark if you click on this arrow mark it will be collapsed the complete data of that particular sub element will be collapsed and if you close this one if you click on this one this will be collapsed and if you close this one this will be collapsed so only one sub element for the college that is a student one if you want to see this one so if you want to extend one more uh, sub element see i'll go with a one more sub element so here i'll i'll use a student 2 okay student 2 right so we can execute here so now you can observe so if i collapse this one so there are only two details of a in a college there's two two student details it displays the two student details if i want to get the information of a student simply i'll go i will expand this one and here i'll be having again two sub branches i mean two uh, sub mm, sub fields sub elements the name address which can be expanded and also the branch the three three sub elements are there in the student one and among those three the two will be expanded so further we can expand the name so that we'll get a complete details of a name and if we further we can expand the address so that we can get complete address so one advantage of writing this uh, hierarchical fashion or by writing the uh, user defined tags so it means uh, if if you are trying to uh, write down the, this information in html we can't access the part of the content right in our previous session we have discussed this point so for example if you uh, if you want to display the address of a particular student so if you display the address of a student using a html so if you want to get only the street, street name so it is not possible to get the portion of the content because it is involved in the html itself but here if you write uh, everything in a hierarchical fashion and if everything in a user defined tags so we can extract some portion of the address with the help of corresponding tag so here you can get the street m and o with the help of a street tag so for everything we are representing it by using the user defined tags so that is one advantage so that whatever the information we can uh, we we need so we can retrieve the information from the xml document that's the only one thing and here we can represent in a tree format right so here college is the root and student one student two are the sub elements right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.